Hi, I'm Ernie Conover, and this month we've got a great project which is a perfect gift for anybody that likes knitting or crocheting. Called a knitting bowl, it holds a ball of yarn, but it will have a scroll-shaped opening where you can bring the end of the yarn around and trap it and have it come to the knitter snag-free. The first order of business is simply to turn a small bowl between five and seven inches in diameter and about three to four inches deep. You want to bring it to a very good surface finish. I sanded this to 220 grit and I've put both a shellac and wax finish on it that leaves it very smooth to the touch. Uh, yarn will simply slide around in the bowl. The uh, other thing that I'll show you in detail uh, on this video is how to cut the scroll shaped opening and how to turn an extended foot for this bowl if uh, our knitter would like to use it while riding in the passenger seat of a car. As this time lapse sequence shows, turning the extended foot is straightforward spindle turning. An advantage of turning it between centers is that you can chuck it and unchuck it quickly to check the fit. The best way to cut the uh, scroll shaped opening here uh, in the side of the bowl, and you want to be sure and do it on the plank grain and not the end grain, is to uh, first drill the hole that is the terminus of the scroll in the two additional holes. Uh, I've laid those out very lightly in pencil. You probably can't see them, uh, but I'm going to first center punch all those holes. The easiest way I find to do this is to hold the piece in my lap with a good apron and it's going to protect me a little bit, but I'm also very careful. But I'm now going to take the drill and simply start it up like this and drill kind of carefully and I'm going to watch on the far side here until I see the, the drill just poke through like that. And I'll turn it around and pick up that same hole right there and drill from the other side and that's going to give me a beautiful breakout on both sides, a nice clean hole. Now that I have the uh, holes drilled, I'm going to lay out a scroll pattern here in pencil, like so. And now I'm going to take a coping saw and I've got a special coping saw blade here that'll cut in any direction because no matter how big the frame of your coping saw, you be hard put to do it in a bowl. But uh, I'm going to uh, just pick up that line right there, like so. And I'm just going to saw right down on my mark, like so. The trick here is to uh, move your coping saw the full length of the blade and not to put an awful lot of pressure on it or you'll break the blade. Now you can cut in any direction. You could actually just cut back from the hole in the other direction, but I find it easier to start at the top like so. And you'll start right on the edge like that and then walk it across to start it. And there we go. The easiest way to clean all of this up and uh, smooth it out so that yarn won't hang up in it uh, is with a high-speed uh, rotary tool. Uh, lacking that, you can use files and sandpaper. Uh, but this is a, a Dremel shaft tool, which uh, I have the motor hanging on this uh, um, beam that I clamp in my vise behind me. And uh, with this, I can uh, very quickly uh, smooth this out. You want to take very light passes, not touching down very hard, and moving the tool the minute you touch down. And that will fair all the edges out and make everything smooth. Don't be afraid to climb cut a little. That is actually going the way where the tool is actually pulling you along, which is what I'm doing right now to round that edge over nicely. But the big thing is you notice I'm not taking it up very much at any given time. You gotta round this a little bit more in there. 
take quite a bit of material out of there. And you can see how this is bearing all out now. So our final tool here to clean this up is some fine sandpaper. Uh, and I'm trying to radius everything to a nice even radius. And of course I don't want it to thread or yarn in any way to hang up on any of these edges. So folding the sandpaper up and sanding all this out to what's nice and smooth will uh, make your knitter very happy with the results. Uh, of course we're going to put some more finish on these edges, another coat of wax, and uh, we'll be ready to, to give it away. So uh, that's the knitting bowl. Uh, have fun.